Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next Philadelphia Phillies series recap. A recap of the baseball gods helping us out as Bohm did not step on home plate. It did not look like, but he got called safe through the help of the baseball gods to help the Phillies salvage the series against those pesky Atlanta Braves and still stay atop the division in the early year standings. The Phillies now come in at six and three, two games above Atlanta, who are at four and five after yesterday. Uh we will get to yesterday's ball game in due order because there's obviously not too much uh fun jazz to talk about in the first games of this series when it comes to the Phillies. But the Phillies in the first game of the series got absolutely destroyed. Uh the game wasn't even close. It was eight to one uh, they came out with Zach Wheeler, who did not have his sharpest stuff in battle through 4.2, giving up three. Um, Kinsler did not get helped by very piss-poor defense in this game, so I don't really blame him for how off his numbers went in this game. Still has a 2.45, even after struggling that game. I thought he pitched very well this year. This was just a game the defense kind of screwed him. Uh, David Hale did not pitch well in this game, but he is, him and Vince are clearly the two back end of the bullpen guys. So I don't really even fully count that as their bullpen struggle when one of those two struggles because they're kind of the biggest wild cards in there. If they hit it, great. If they don't, then you'll probably just see another two guys come in uh, to replace those two at some certain point. But yeah, the Phillies, there's nothing to say about this game other than they came out flat. Charlie Morton actually looked really good in this game. If they're not as good in his first start, pitched six inning, had 7K and only one baseball, and then Matzik, Jones, and Luke Jackson came in to close the deal and looked really good. So that's really all there is to say about that game. The Phillies got torched 8-1 to one on Friday. Uh, they lost by 1-5-4 to four on Saturday. That was a tough loss. Um, our Philadelphia Phillies actually had a very solid um, battle after a bad first inning pitching performance from Eflin, who gave a 4-6, so his line doesn't look too sexy when you look at it in total with two strikeouts and one walk and a homer. But he gave up three in the first and then really limited them, really pitched well, and only made one more mistake pitch in that game. That game, I think the offense just truly had opportunities to get people going. They left only four on base, but just kind of had mistake pitches again. They missed, whatever have you. And they were able to, yes, get four runs in this game, but I think this is a game they had an opportunity to pounce a little bit more than our Philadelphia Phillies did, and they were just not able to do that, which I think is a big reason why they lost this game. Uh, Bradley came in and did not look as good in this game. We found out that was because I believe it was his oblique that they said was bothering him. He's out now uh, with a short-term injury. Coonrod and Alvarado did pitch well in this game, but the offense just wasn't able to push the Phils over the hump in this one, as in this game, Albies doubled and Freeman homered to put the Braves up 3-2 to two in the bottom of the first, and then the Phillies were actually up at one point in this game, Kutch uh, homered in the fifth, and then in the sixth, Bryce Harper homered to put the Phils up, but then when Zach Eflin came in, missed that one pitch, that mistake pitch to Swanson, he doubled, and Ozuna scored, and then Freeman reached on a fielder's choice that Alvarado should have threw home. They had a miscommunication with the double play. That was a bad play. That that was a very bad way to lose a game. So there was two bad ways to lose a game. One, Atlanta shouldn't have lost the way they did in the uh, game we'll get to where the baseball guys were at. The Phillies out. Boom, didn't even touch home plate. Uh, but this is going to be probably tighter. The Philadelphia Phillies versus Atlanta Braves series recap. Uh, the baseball gods um, helped the Phillies salvage the series or something like that because that's exactly what happened. But the baseball gods did not help them bless Alvarado with the right senses to throw home on that play. As uh, Freeman was able to reach in the field as choice and Adriano was able to score going on contact when he should have been out by a country mile at home. So that's just what it is. That's what got the Phillies to lose that game 5-4. to four. It is what it is. Then the baseball gods blessed them and said, you guys lost the game in a corny way, uh, we're going to somehow just bless you to have an umpire um, call a safe call and then have replay, not see that it seems like he didn't step on home plate um, via all the things you've seen on Twitter, Facebook, I'm sure everyone's seen some now, even Instagram, whatever you use, everyone's seen everything about it, but this was a very good back and forth game, I must say, you had Albies Homer in the first, you had Swanson single to score Day Arnaud. 
Uh, then we had Gene Segura almost hit a home run right to the wall to Pache to score uh, JT. Then Reese did hit a home run as well as Didi Gregorius hitting another home run for a second, uh, which made it 5-3 to three fills at that time. But then they let Atlanta come back. Um, you had, with Mora in the mound still in the fourth, Acuna hit a sack fly to Pache, and then Freddie Freeman homered in the fifth to tie it up still with Mora on the mound, who gave up five uh, runs in this game. But then in the sixth, Harper homered to put you all back up by one until in the seventh, Coonrod came in and then left a pitch to uh, Acuna that he was able to hit out. Uh, his first really mistake pitch of the entire season for Sammy Coonrod, and then he was able to pitch all right. Um, around that after, but yeah, that was really his first first um, mistake pitch of the season when it comes to Sam Coonrod, who otherwise uh, pitched a clean one inning, as well as Alvarado, and Nearest pitched a clean one inning for the save in that game, but this was a back and forth game um, until we had, of course, the last play in the top of the ninth, um, the call on the field was upheld, uh, Didi hit a sacrifice fly to Mar Marcelo Zuna, who threw a two-hopper into the plate, and then Bone was able to score, kind of going around. That kind of reminded me, I think it was a Pirates and Braves play when Mike Lowell, they said, um, stepped on, uh, was called safe when he clearly got tagged out. And then he actually did step on home plate, but got tagged out before it. Kind of reminded me of that play where it was just, it seemed like the call on the field was made, and you were going, okay... Maybe this won't have enough to overturn it, but it definitely seems like this is not the right call. But just because of the degree of it seems with baseball, where I thought it did have enough to overturn it. As soon as I saw that replay, I went, oh, the Phillies, this game's going to keep going. I don't think the Phillies have took the lead at all. And then all of a sudden they said it was upheld. I feel like with baseball, it's becoming very clear and apparent. You need like 100% and then some evidence that it's not what the call was on the field. Where with other sports like basketball, hockey, even football, as long as it completely, definitely looks like you were wrong, they'll change the call. Where baseball, it seems like it has to be like an executive order to say, oh no, you were wrong on this call. And then they would change the call. Because there hasn't, there's really hasn't been much successful replay on pivotal plays. When we look at the Matt Faskersian <clears throat> mentioned it yesterday saying, there seems to be just one question play every year um, when it comes to a play at the plate or elsewhere on the base pass, and that shouldn't be the case with replay. You shouldn't have even one or two really question plays like that per year. Now, I'm not bitching about it. I'm just saying that's the way it should be in all fairness for the overall people. The baseball gods bless the Phillies with them saying that Alec Bohm's foot touched home plate, even though it clearly looked like it didn't. The Phillies were able to come out of it salvaging a 7-6 to win to salvage the series and not get swept, to come in to play a four-game series at City Field, come back, try to hit some home runs by, via D.D. Gregorius, Bryce Harper, maybe Brad Miller and others into Utley's corner to get going against the Mets. But the Phillies salvaged the series after losing 8-1 to one on the first game of the series, having Alvarado's blunder cause them the second game of the series, not throwing home. And then having the baseball gods bless them with all their glory to be able to help our Philadelphia Phillies win game three and salvage that series against Atlanta. This has been a reaction. Philadelphia Phillies versus Atlanta Braves. The Phillies salvage the series due to the blessing of the baseball gods. Series recap. Please stay tuned, stay tuned Excuse me, later this afternoon for the Philadelphia Phillies versus New York Mets. Series preview. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. Pro Joe. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Trying to hit 130 as soon as possible at 127 right now. Again, peace out, everybody, and have a safe week, and stay well out there.